guys it's your girl tasha coming to you guys with a fall styling video this is going to be fall fashion trends for 2022 so these looks are going to be easy looks but yet slaying the girls we're going to eat them up okay we're going to eat the girls up plus size edition but you guys know that my looks transcend for everybody okay but i gotta represent for my community plus size and apple shade which if you're new hey boo my name is tasha i focus on fashion beauty and lifestyle mainly fashion plus size fashion apple shade fashion for my apple shape girls and if you were og thank you for holding your girl down and if this is your first time see me baby subscribe because i give all the things okay so i put together four looks for you guys these are easy looks that if you've been with me for a while you should have these things in your wardrobe also if you guys have been following my shorts video you guys saw when i posted my diy denim waist belt so i'm actually going to style it up in this video today and i'm going to show you the first look is actually going to be the look that i'm wearing to brunch today i'm gonna eat the girl's side at brunch but i will tag the video below um who i got the idea from for the denim waist belt so you guys can watch her video she has a sew version and a no sew version of course i did the no sew version okay so it wasn't 100 percent my idea but i made it work for me and i also want a Lueve belt real bad or a belt that's giving Lueve vibes but she's not going to pay the Lueve coin okay but i feel like this gives the things okay if you like edgy fun looks i definitely feel like it will do that okay so let's get into this lookbook don't forget to follow me at tasha.bstyles on instagram bye y'all okay you guys so this is the first look it's giving all the street wear things so let me go ahead and give you guys the spin and then we're gonna go ahead and break this outfit down so give y'all one more speak Okay, so this is the look that I'm wearing to brunch. But let me go ahead and give you guys the breakdown. So I just have on a white button up, which is a staple. I always tell you guys to invest in your button up shirts. And I want you guys a different white button up for a different look. Because I always tell you guys that you need different white button ups because they serve different purpose. So this one is like a classic Oxford button up shirt. This feels more like the men's dress shirt or the shirt that you will wear for like business attire. That is what this material is like. And then I just have on my cargo pants from Fashion Nova, the Kim Cadet oversized cargo pants. I will link these below if they're still available. And then my white muse from Nine West. Now, if you have been following me on Instagram or if you've been following my shorts, I posted this DIY belt that I did think last week but i did not get this idea from myself i was watching youtube and i followed this youtuber named blueprint diy and she made i think like two or three versions of a denim waist belt so i will link her video below because i followed her video to a t now i did tweak it a little bit for me for my own style but i did follow that video so i will link it for you guys if you guys are interested in recreating this for you for yourself but like i told you guys denim is very much on trending season now denim is always a thing but this season you're going to see a lot of denim denim it's going to be heavy denim this fall and i'll low-key want a denim waist belt but you guys know that it's gonna take forever for that to come over to the plus size so i was like hmm let me use a pair of jeans that i don't really want anymore and see if i can make this denim waist belt and it ended up coming out good i will say use 100 percent cotton jeans to do this not stretchy jeans because you really want the structure okay so i feel like it's giving the waist belt things now this is how it would look if you did not deconstruct it all the way like i did so if you still want that but i feel like it's easier to just um button and then button because if you don't split the hem here then you're gonna have to like step out of it so it just really depends on you and then i like the rawness because i washed it got the fringe but i'm stuck between if i want to kind of finish it so that's how it would look if i were to finish it versus like the rawness so it's like i'm stuck in between like i like the finished look of it and i also love 
the rawness of it. So I may do another one that's more tailored because I actually do like the rawness and I kept the pockets, okay? And then we still have the pockets in the back. Now I did go up higher in the back to give me shape. Did you guys know as an apple shape or inverted triangle that we like having curves. So when we center our waist, the whole purpose is to have definition. So I just went up higher up here. So when this falls, it gives me like that hourglass shape in the back. I'm gonna eat the girls up at brunch. <laughs> I promise you, this will probably be a conversation piece at brunch. Let me go ahead and give you guys one more spin. What's <laughs> big, sweetie? Let's get into. Okay, guys. Yeah, so this is look number two. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a spin. Then we get into the outfit. Okay, so I have on a black knit crop. So I always tell you guys to invest in these. I have on another white um, button-up shirt. Now this one is 100% cotton. I think it has like a little linen in it. It's a little bit more rugged and then it's longer. So it's giving me a different effect than the Oxford shirt. And then remember I told you guys to keep your denim shorts out for the fall. So you can pair them with a pair of tights and your chunky boots. And I just have my black Zara clutch to add a little um to the look. But this is a look that I will wear to go shopping. This is a look that I will go out like on a day date with the girls. Just running the streets for casually. But you're still giving all the cute fashion things. Okay, and then if you don't have a pair of denim shorts, if you have like a denim mini skirt, you can swap out the shorts for a denim mini skirt. You can do black shorts, a light wash, a medium wash. I'm not into like that deep, deep denim, like that indigo blue. But if you're into that, then go ahead and do that. But you may have to switch out something up top because you don't want to be just dark 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 all over and then you can always switch out the chunky boots to like some patent leather booties or like some other type of heel if you want to do a heel to like elevate the look a little bit but if you just want to be casual and cute then chunky boots so how do you guys feel about this look let me do one more spin Okay, so let's get into look number three. All right, y'all, this is look number three. A little commotion for the skirt. Then I'm going to give y'all a spin. Okay, so this is screaming all the fall vibes. So I have this brown faux leather crop print skirt from H&M. I got this skirt maybe like two and a half, three years ago. And when I got it from H&M, I could not fit it. But I am saying on a couple of pounds, I could lose a little bit more, but at least I can get in it now and button it. And then I have this knit sweater also from H&M around the same time I got this skirt. And then I paired it with my cream slouchy boots from DSW. Now the boots are sold out, but Nine West does have a similar pair, so I will link those for you. Now, one of the trends for this season that is going to be heavy is doing embellishments so embellishments could be like denim jeans with pearls on it or appliques or fringe or sequins or um crop print like embossed prints so i knew that this skirt was going to come back around eloquent actually just released a skirt very similar to this but they did it in that metallic print so i will put a picture up so you guys can see the one from eloquent and link it below if you're interested now that skirt from eloquent is very bold because it's metallic however if you are a person that runs the streets and are very heavily into the things then i would say that would be a good purchase because i will actually purchase that skirt and do a lot of street wear with it if i you know went out a lot but i don't Okay, so how do you guys feel about look number three? So I think that this is streaming New York Fashion Week. It's definitely giving fashion girl. Um, this is a cute in-office work look too for the ball. If you want to slay the girls at work real quick. But yeah, I feel like this could take you to New York Fashion Week. This could take you to kind of like street fashion. It could be in the office, like 
and then after work like happy hour it's giving all the things so let's get into the last look y'all okay yeah so this is the last look i have on that denim skirt that i recently hauled from asos on my asos and h&m video remember it was a maxi skirt it came all the way down but i end up cutting it and turning it into a midi skirt because that just flatters my shape and height more but i will link the skirt below if it's still available i just paired it with the slouchy boots a white belt and my leopard prints bodysuit that i got from boohoo a very long time ago okay so don't forget that denim midi and maxi skirts are very much on trend this season and it's ashy black denim very much on trend this fall and winter so how do you guys feel about this look again i think this is a cute fun look now this is a look that i could wear into the office like i told you guys i can dress down at work so this is like a fun edgy work look this is also a cute brunch look worn out look so this look is very universal cute little sleigh at work so how do y'all feel about this Okay, guys, don't forget to check the description box for the link to the DIY video for the denim waist belt. Don't forget to check the description box for any links that are available. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.